Hello, and welcome to another Mechanism tutorial. Today I'll be covering the Induction Matrix Multi-Block. Before we get started today, I'd like to thank everyone for sticking around during this little hiatus of mine. I've been pretty busy lately with homework and exams, and I'm ready to get back to making some more videos. So let's just go ahead and get on with the tutorial. The Induction Matrix is a multi-block structure capable of storing and receiving immense amounts of RF. It can range from somewhat expensive to ridiculously expensive depending on the components you use to construct it. The outer frame of our matrix can be made using Inductrix casing blocks made from steel and an energy tablet. You want to get used to having a lot of energy tablets on hand because you will need a very significant amount of them. You also need some induction ports around two just as a minimum and these are going to be made with induction casings and an elite control circuit. Now onto the real meat and potatoes of this, the induction providers and cells. The cells within the matrix will actually be what stores the RF, while the provider is what per defines the input and output limits of your matrix. There are four tiers similar to the pipes and energy cells, and the recipes of these are quite similar with the only difference being the use of energy tablets in the cells compared to the respective tier of control circuits in the provider. The basic cell is made of four lithium dust, four energy tablets, and a basic energy cell. We'll talk about lithium dust production here in a second, so let's go ahead and move right along. The basic induction cell can store 400 mega RF. For comparison, an ultimate energy cell can store 51.2 MRF. That's nearly a four times increase in how much power you can store with just the basic variety. You can make a, an advanced cell, an elite cell, and finally an ultimate cell. They may not appear to be super expensive, but once you actually begin the process, you will realize right away it is an extremely expensive process to get get just one ultimate cell. To let us out some ingredients, it's gonna require four diamonds, 1400 iron ingots, around 300 glass blocks, around 1700 gold ingots, around 3000 pieces of redstone, around 120 osmium ingots, 340 steel ingots, 10 coal, and 256 lithium dust. And that's including if you compress your coal and redstone for infusing. The induction provider recipes are quite similar to the cell crafting recipes, the only difference being that we're going to use control circuits instead of energy tablets. These providers will actually define how much power our matrix will be able to accept. With a basic provider, we can send and receive 25.6 kilo RF. And by the way, it's going to be made with, two, with four basic control circuits, four lithium dust, and a basic energy cube like the cell. The ultimate energy cell, uh, by the way, can s transmit around 20.48 kL uh, KRF per tick, slightly lower than the basic tier. We can work our way up to ultimate in the same way we can with the other cells, but we have to have the correct control circuit along with it. I hope you're still making lithium from when we learned about the fusion reactor. If not, you can check out my previous video where we took a look at lithium up in the top right corner of your screen. We're going to need to convert it into a gas similar to tritium, but just slap a chemical crystallizer in the pipe somewhere and it'll start making lithium dust. It may not seem like a lot, once it gets going, you'll have plenty of lithium dust to start making your matrix with. The construction of the matrix is pretty simple. It's going to be a minimum of 3x3x3 externally and a maximum of 18x18x18. Fill the empty space with induction cells and providers of your choice, and that's about it really. As you can see, I've got one cell and one provider. We can make this super tall if we wanted. We could have one cell and ten providers if we wanted. Um, and the frame is really just going to be made out of these uh, frames here, and we can also use structural glass as long as it's not a corner. And don't forget, we're also going to need at least two induction ports. When it's formed correctly, the standard particles will form. Using the matrix itself is really easy. You can click anywhere on the structure and we can view the GUI of it. We can see how much power the induction matrix is receiving and sending, and how much is stored altogether. We can also see uh, how big it is, what the parts of it are, and what the maximum uh, input of it is there see there it's going to be 6.0 GRF with our cells there um, and we can go ahead and use a configurator to modify those ports by the way between input and output you can just shift right click on those and once you've got your port set up how you'd like them it's as simple as connecting a little battery to it we're going to attach an energy cube there we can see it start filling up and it's going to start filling up this energy cube just like that I'm just go ahead and attach some old universal cable to it and you're pretty much done it truly is the ultimate form to store your energy Thanks for watching my latest tutorial. Be sure to like the video if you learned something and consider subscribing to find out when I post next. Let me know what you thought in the comments. I try to respond to everyone and answer questions as much as possible. And also be sure to check out my other videos like my previous mechanism tutorials or my build showcases. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.